Hey, sneak out of bed tonight. Tonight we've got PC BSD9. Now, I know it's not Linux. No, it's not. It's a fork of free BSD, as you will know. And I've not looked at it for quite a long while, and I thought, well, we'll give it a go. Again, because the last one I didn't have too much hope with, basically. But now this one seems super -y duper -y of the duper -y of the super -y. Now, as you can see, I've got it running with XFCE here. Now, it comes with KDE normally, or you can change your own desktop environment and add them on. Right, before I even start going through stuff, the only big thing here that I'm a bit worried about is it's got quite a high CPU usage. It's 50 to 60 percent, and we're not even doing anything really. When I first installed it, it was lovely. It was like four or five percent. And I've added a few bits and bobs, updated the system, etc, etc, and it's gone whoosh, over the top. Yeah, remember? Whoosh, over the top. Far too high. So I'm going to leave it for a couple of days and see if there's a, a fix for it, basically, at the end of the day. Anyway, let's get on down and have a lot of bushes. Now, as it's running XFCE, we get a little XFCE little panel down here, basically doing stuff. I've got terminal, I've got a file browser, I've got a web browser, an application finder, and at home. Yes, home. Yes, hmm, I like home. Do you like home? I like home. Anyway, I won't go to applications first. XFCE, as you know, I love home. File system should be rubbish, but it's marked trash. <laughs> Ding! You get the PC BSD handbook. I'll open it in a minute for you, so you can have butchers. You get the app cafe for getting your apps in a GUI style, if you know what I mean. Right, I've installed Chromium Abbey Word MPS. Well, I've not installed that one down now. I couldn't feel that. No, I've not done that one. But we'll open it. It's the control panel. So we'll open them up and see what we've got down there. As you can see, look, CPU's gone. Woo! Come back, baby. Leave me alone. And it started to really slow down. And when I first installed it, it wasn't like this. So I really pooed off about that. But anyway, you've got the usual stuff in the control panel, flash preferences, life preservers, where you can back up to a free NAS box. Oh yeah, I'm not going to go into that tonight, you can all do that yourself, okay? Because you can actually download quite a lot of stuff for it, okay? Usual stuff here, looks it's all KD sort of stuff, yeah, blah, 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 I won't go too much into that, because you've all seen it before. Right, we're going to open Abbey Word up. Oh, that's reasonable, isn't it, considering the CPU's going 10 to a dozen. Right, it's 284, so it's not the most current one, but hey, it's PC BSD, me, it's free BSD, you know what I'm saying? Chromium is my default browser here, which I installed. Now, all I will say, right, you know when you install Chromium, normally it's around about 18, 24 megs, something like that. Well, with PC BSD, it was 76 megabytes download. Oh, yes, indeed, quite a bleeding lot. And Abbey Word was 79. Whoa, blimey. And I'll keep setting Chromium as my default browser every bloody time, and it keeps coming up with that. Anyway, here's the website. Da, 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 da. Tells you all about it. There's lots and lots of stuff here. Right, under Get It. So if we go to 9 Isotope Downloads, because it's PC BSD Isotope, not only do you get DVD 64 bit and 32 bit, not only do you get USB 32 and 64 bit, not only do you get a live 64 and 32, you also get virtual box images. Oh yeah, virtual box image. So you could just download the image and run it straight in the box just to see if you like it first. You also get the 64 and 32 bit versions on CD, so they'll be a bit lighter and you'll have to update it a bit heavier, should we say. Live DVDs, USB lights and standard USBs. Nicey, nicey. Took me, considering I got it from locally, about an hour to download because it was ooh, gigabytes of stuff basically. Yeah, anyway, that's enough of that. So yeah, that was Chromium. Right, what I really wanted to show you was the App Cafe. That's where you're going to have a latte. If they do cider lattes there, I don't know, I can't remember if they do cider lattes. I'll have to ask next time I go, yeah. Anyway, wait for the load of repositories. Obviously, it's not going to be a really, really big repository. This is the GUI. Normally, you'd use a CLI to install stuff, okay? From back in the day. But this is nice little stuff. So if I just go down to, let me find what's saying that you can you know, get with. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Okay, I'll go down, 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 well, that's not a web browser, but Composure in here, is in here as well. Lynx is here as well. Midori, Surf, Opera is here also. And Simonkai. You can get them all here. So that's nice. But I've got installed. You can see what I've installed here. 
they're updated to the max they can be, so it's no big deal. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. And we'll go back all oh, text programs. Yeah. So I've installed Abbey Word. Oh, wrong one. I'll go back. I've installed Abbey Word, but you can get LibreOffice and OpenOffice. Okay, because it basically comes with the K stuff. It's KDE at the end of the day. Yeah. All depends if you've got the CD or the DVD, which you've downloaded. It will all depend on which one you get. All right. And the graphics. Have a quick look here. Get Blender, nice, Cine Paint, nice, Gimp is there as standard, GMT, Ganache is there as well, oh by the way, Flash is installed as standard, I didn't understand that one actually, really, because being it's free, you know, it's free BSD, PC BSD, but hey, who am I to say, I'm, I'm just a messenger man, don't shoot me, but it's all there, which is rather, rather nice. CPU is, is creeping up more. Do you know it's like up to 60% now? Something is not happy there somewhere, is there? No. Well, I've done this video a couple of times before, and I will do a couple more on it, I think, if we can get this problem sorted with the CPU. Right, the PSC BSD handbook. Now, this is really, really, really good when it decides to bleed and open, okay? It is the full handbook, okay? In PDF format. So, go to the front page, click on there. It is the full one. Come on, come on, come on. CPU, see, look, the CPU is maxed out. I'm not using any memory as such. I'm only using turn something on a memory. It's just the CPU is just not doing it for me, man. No, it's not twisting my middle enough. But yes, the full book is here. So if we go to the first page here, it tells you every single thing. So minimum system requirements. We'll go to that page. Wait for it to come up. Pentium 2 or higher. Um, you could be some time. That'd be like a Gen 2 experience, wouldn't it, really? Recommending Pentium 4 or higher. Yeah, I agree with that. I've got it running with 1024 of RAM. I've actually got about 50 gigabytes of hard drive for it. It does need quite a lot. And if you're installing KDN NAM, as it says here, you're going to need lots and lots of bleeding stuff. Oh, yes, indeed. Whew, you need over the top stuff, basically, wouldn't you? So I'll go back to the top here, to the handbook. I'm going to scroll down a bit more. I'll just go to one more page for you. Right, um, Customising the ZSF port. ZFS port. It is so, so big, this book. You could be here for quite some time. Because it's really, really customisable. I, I liked it last time, but I just, if I could use it as a, my own system, full-time, I'm just not sure. Yes, you can get recording software. Yes, you can get a virtual box. You can get everything you really want for it. But at the end of the day, could I read of it? I'm not sure actually. Games comes with the K stuff because actually it's KDE based, as you know. Like KDE well, comes with the KDE. That's what I've just added other desktops to it. But yeah, there's loads of other stuff to install with it. I mean, you could get along with it. You could not. Yeah, but yeah, something a little bit different there, and I hope you like it. Yes, PC BSD nine. Very nice. Go and give it a try. And tell me if you have the same problem with CPU usage as well. Because it's only when I started installing stuff and putting extra bits and bobs and updating that I've had this problem. Yeah. So anyway, am I going to point it out of 100? Well, if it was running nicely without this CPU problem, I probably would give it about 85, 90. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to mark it down to 75, 70. So we're going to give it 70%, I'm afraid. I may change if they sort the problem. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.